Hello and welcome to Audio Codes Training Academy. This video tutorial demonstrates how to configure the Mediant SBC as a simulated endpoint to send and receive test calls with a remote destination. The test call feature allows you to verify SIP signaling and media DTMF signaling, between a simulated phone on your device and a remote SIP endpoint. You can test both incoming calls, where the test endpoint acts as the called party, and outgoing calls, where it acts as the calling party. Log into the device's web interface using your credentials. Once you have logged into your device select the Troubleshoot menu. To configure basic incoming test calls from remote SIP endpoints to a single simulated test endpoint on the device, expand the Test Call folder in the navigation bar and open the Test Call Settings page. The only essential configuration is to assign a prefix number to the simulated endpoint in the Test Call Idaho field. This prefix allows the device to identify calls intended for testing. In our example, we'll use the prefix 2222. When the device initiates a test call, it plays a user-defined DTMF tone to the caller. This DTMF sequence is configured in the test call DTMF string field. We'll use the default value of 3212333 in this example. Click Apply to save your settings. To test the incoming call, dial 2222 from the remote phone. The SBC will play the configured DTMF sequence. You can also verify the test call using the audio code syslog viewer utility, where the call details are displayed. For more information, search for the term test endpoint. To configure basic outgoing test calls from the simulated test endpoint on the device to a remote SIP endpoint, expand the test call folder in the navigation bar and open the test call rules page. Click new to add a new rule. Configure the test call rule as follows. Endpoint URI, this is the calling phone number of the simulated phone on the SBC. In our example, it's 2222. Called URI, this is the phone number of the remote telephone. In our example, it's 1111. Route by, this defines how the test call will be routed to the endpoint. The drop-down list offers two options, IP group or destination address. If you select IP group, you must configure the IP group on the IP group table and then select it from the IP group field below. If you select destination address, you must configure the destination address and SIP interface in the corresponding fields. In our case we will select the IP group option. Application type, this specifies the application type for the endpoint, either gateway or SBC. We'll use SBC in this example. Click Apply to save your settings. To test the outgoing call, select the outgoing call rule. Click Action and then Dial. The SBC simulator phone will initiate the call, and the remote phone will ring. Upon answering, you'll hear the DTMF sequence.
You can also confirm the test call in the audio code syslog viewer utility. For further details, search for test endpoint. That's it. Thank you for watching.